Well, hello folks. Welcome down to the bar and to another new basement bar we built down here and uh, welcome to another Whiskey Calling episode. Uh, today I thought uh, it's, uh, I can't remember what day it was. It's, it's Tuesday evening, you know, long day at work. And I thought, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to settle into a, uh, you know, a sip or two of this, this uh, old granddad wow. bourbon here. Um, it's, this is actually excellent value whiskey. Um, if you haven't tried it, made by Jim Beam, I believe. Um, and it, it's a high rye mash. I'll give you guys just a good look at this bottle here. So it's a, a bottle of the Bond product. Um, it's a, so it's 100 proof. Um, and it's a high rye mash. Um, and it's, it's just delicious. I've always really, really liked it. Um, so you know what, if I, if I, folks, um, let's settle into it. Let's... Uh, Let's enjoy it. I hope you got a dram yourselves that you're enjoying. Um, I haven't been able to shoot too many videos lately. Uh, I've been, been pretty busy, but uh, you know, as we get into spring, uh, it might be nice to shoot a few more. Um, plus, we just built this, this bar downstairs, so really enjoying that as well. Folks, cheers. Let's see what it smells like first. Yeah, this is a little bit of a, a bit of a nuttiness there, kind of a um, yeah, you can definitely get the, get the rye smell, almost almost a bit of a hockey card bubble gum mixed with uh, mixed with nuts. Maybe almost like a uh, a bowl of salted peanuts, barbecue peanuts, almost maybe a little bit. Yeah, I'm just getting a little bit of that out of there right now. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. You know what? Kind of a nice, uh, nice rich, rich texture. It kind of um, sticks in the mouth a little bit in a really nice way it's definitely got some heat and some extra push to it like uh kind of a you know uh, a spicy heat uh it's you know a little bit of the alcohol but also a little bit of that rye spice i would say um uh yeah and then it's kind of got that nice long finish down the throat a little bit of a burn burn down as it goes really nice and relaxing um it doesn't have like a super super complex finish per se um it kind of pushes through about a third into the sip uh you kind of you know the flavor hits and then the spice hits a little bit after like maybe 60 percent into the into the sip the spice really hits um and then there's a little bit of a dull moment there between about 60 percent into the sip and about 90 about 80 percent and then it kind of and, and then some burn and kind of some after effects of the heat kind of fall through which is really nice Let's try it again. I like to smell it again sometimes. And yeah, so now, now I'm just getting a little bit of that. You get almost a, uh, in a good way, almost an old shoe smell, which I, which I kind of like in whiskey sometimes. Cheers. Yeah, you know, there's enough spice and heat. Um, like I said, probably about seventy-five percent in. You, you know, you, you really you know, sixty to seventy-five percent in. You re you really get the spice and the heat. The flavor is nice and rich. Uh, you know, kind of the the texture is nice and rich. Um, and again, that that kind of um, you know pack of pack of peanuts. Uh, roasted peanuts, um, salted peanuts, um, kind of comes out. And I'm trying to remember that you know there's certain types of uh, almost like salted walnuts. Um, you know, almost like maybe maybe a, a bowl of mixed uh, mixed you know nuts and bolts that kind of thing. Uh, it's almost got a bit of that. So almost a bit of a saltiness is what I'm getting right now. Let's have another sip.
Mm. Yeah. Sort of a nuttiness, a warmth. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, just, just having a nice snack of salted peanuts. Um, that's kind of warm going down. <laughs> so it's got a really nice mix to it, actually. Um, you know, I've always said the old granddad, it's, it's one of my first bourbons that I, that I really liked. Um, you know, I've only really been drinking whiskey for a couple of years, and this is one of the earlier ones that, that I liked right away. And, you know, the thing about old granddad is the value. Like, it's, I think it's only about $30 or so, at least, at least where I am. And that is, you know, incredibly cheap for, for a lot of the other stuff I ended up trying. And the quality, like the value of this bottle and, and the quality of it should really always be a bottle you have on your bar. Um, um, it's, it's, it's nice, uh, you know, I said a friend over, you know, some friends over the other this last weekend and one of them tried this for the first time and he likes bourbon, has tried some rye and he said, oh yeah, it's a perfect mixture between bourbon and rye, which, which I'm kind of a fan of, uh, you know, I, I love rye, I love bourbon. Um, and I find that bourbons with a higher higher uh, rye mash in them um, I kind of like that you know um, it, it takes a little bit of the sweetness out and puts in that rye spice and sometimes that's that's a really really nice combination um, um, because sometimes you know the odd bourbons can be a little bit too sweet and rye on its own is, is amazing I love rye on its own but but sometimes a little bit of that bourbon sweetness inside of that is really nice so so uh, yeah, you know this high rash, uh, uh, sorry, this high rash, this this high rye mash bill, um, really kind of comes across across in a nice way. I really really like this a lot. Um, it makes me think like you know, um, think of what an experiment a little bit more more with my, you know, maybe my own affinity bottle mixing uh, mixing bourbons and rice a little bit more. I think I actually want to start one of those uh, kind of experiment with with uh, some of those different ratios because. Uh, because I think, you know, yeah, bourbon and rye, you know, I think a lot of bourbons do have rye in them, but, but I think sometimes the more rye, the better, almost, um, in, in a lot of situations. You know, and you might say the other, the other way around, too, you know, rye by itself, you add some bourbon in, it just adds to it a lot of times. So, anyways, folks, that was, that was me rambling on about uh, rye and bourbon, but, um, but of course, when, you're, when you enjoy it, enjoy it, and that's why I hope you guys are enjoying something yourselves and, uh, and sitting back and just, uh, you know, and relaxing and enjoying a dram here. We're just heading into spring, um, so uh, so summer's on the way. It was a really long winter, and um, folks, I just hope you have a great night and see you again soon.